What's going on, YouTube? How you doing? This is Coach MT, and I figured I would throw my uh, my smooth glasses on because I have some um, some smooth information to share with you. All right, so if your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video. All right, helps with the algorithms to get the information out. And make sure you, when you do subscribe, make sure you that notification bell so that you don't miss any information. Okay, so today I'm going to be reading right out of the book. Okay, uh, the book is called The Redemption Manual. All right, so this information is not coming from me, but I figure I will read out of the book so that you can understand why individuals like myself or anyone out there that's sharing this kind of information, why we do it, all right? So this, this, this comes out of, uh, I think it's chapter two, page 88. I know it's a thick book. I know a lot of people don't like to read. I, I, I know it. I, I know it's a lot of work. It's a lot of reading. It's a lot of studying. It's a lot of trial and error. It's a lot of, okay, they didn't accept my documents. I, I know. I know it is. It, it's, it happens to me. It has happened to me. But one thing I learned about this process is that if I continue to focus on it, right, continue to focus on it, the information I need will come to me. To, to have the success that I'm looking for, right? To be able to do the things that I'm able to do for my life, all right? So do not be afraid of reading and learning and getting the information, right? Um, even in the Bible it says that people perish for lack of knowledge. And the fact that, you know, we don't have um, the knowledge, then we perish, right? So right now, a lot of us are perishing because we don't understand where we are in this process, okay? We don't understand where we are in this process. We, don't, we, we believe that we are citizens and we are not citizens, okay? Um, uh, well, some of us are, okay? Some of us are citizens under the constitution and the term citizen became uh, privately, a lot of th things were done without our consent, okay? And I mean our, I mean people from back in the day in the 1800s when all of this, uh, was going on between 1871 and 1878 where the term citizen meant corporate entity okay under you know a lot of things that were going on people didn't like um you know at one point there was uh, seven states that walked out of congress and they had to be reconvened under gunpoint almost right and everything that's when everything changed everything began to change at that point in time so i'm going to read here from the book now if you want to get the book you can get on amazon um there's a pdf uh, download floating around out there i think maybe on scribe where you can get the pdf if you want to save yourself some money but i always get the hard copy right i always have to have the hard copy in my hand that way i can highlight i can always refer back to it it's just i just i just like the hard copy okay so let's start right here on page 89 where after they talked about the 14th amendment okay it said through the 14th amendment and artificial person corporation entity franchise entitled citizen of the United States was born into private corporate limit liability section four of the 14th amendment states that the validity of the public debt of the United States to the bankers shall not be questioned. This is when the United States was, was sold over to the international bankers. All right. And the bankers control everything. You, you might think it's the president, right? It's not the president. The president got a damn thing to do with this country okay um i know we was all excited especially you know uh, black people when barack obama became president but please get out of here did, did, has anything changed right nothing has changed because it's the bankers that own this land all right it's the bankers that own the land and we are the commodity okay so let's keep going so it says with the above reference private jurisdiction of the international bankers the private and foreign owned congress because Congress became private and foreign owned. If you go back on page 81, 88, it says, um, uh, let's see, uh, President Lincoln issued order number two in 1861, reconvened the Congress at gunpoint in executive emergency martial law rule jurisdiction. Since that time, there has been no de jure sanctioned by law Congress. All right, everything functions under color of law which means appearance or semblance without substance of legal right. Okay. So that is what happened. Um, 
So it says that within within the above reference private jurisdiction of the international bankers, the private and foreign owned Congress formed a corporation, commercial agency and government for the District of Columbia. Everything was formed right through what the international bankers. OK, so uh, just to let you know, this whole commercial process is is a global thing. OK, and central banking is a global thing. All right. Um, it says on the date, February, uh, 21st, 1871, this corporation was rec was reorganized June 11, 1878 and renamed the United States government. This corporation probably trademarked the names United States, U S U dot S dot U S U dot S dot a dot USA and America. All right. So we're dealing with a corporate, uh, a corporate entity. So let me ask you a question. Can you be a citizen of a corporation? Absolutely not. All right. Walmart's a corporation. Publix is a corporation. Kroger is a corporation. You cannot be a citizen of a corporation. Only a consumer, only a consumer of a corporation. All right. So that's, that's what we turned into. Okay. So it says when the United States declared itself a municipal corporation, it also created what is known as a SESTIC trust to function under by implementing the federal constitution of uh, 1871 and incorporating the previous United States constitutions of 1870, 1787 and 1797 as amended as by laws. Naturally, as the trustees of the trust, this empowered the United States government, okay, because the United States government became the trustee of the SESTIC trust that was created. All right. If you didn't notice, we all have one of those as well, too. And in the process that we uh, we deal in, we show individuals how to to kind of access it to make certain purchases that they need for their life. OK, so um, let's see. This empowered the United States government to change the terms of the trust at will as evidence under the federal constitution of 1871. The 14th Amendment, the people of the United States without their consent were declared citizens and granted civil rights. These so-called civil rights are nothing more than privileges, privileges which the government licenses, regulates, and can reinterpret to suit its purpose at any time for any reason. That's how laws are always changing. The laws don't change to help you. The laws change to help them, right? Like the, the tax code is changing all the time. And, you know, they, they make a bill for this and a bill for that. It's not to help you, all right? The, the, the G word, all right, the G word is not here to help you. Then they're, they're here to help themselves and they're taking from you. They're taking everything from you in taxes. They're taking everything from you in your birth certificate. They're taking everything from you in saying that you own a home and own a land. You don't own anything. You're renting it. They're taking all your liberties from you because you became a citizen, which is a corporate fictitious entity. All right. So this is the federal corporate government also can really somehow forgot to disclose to the people that the term citizen, which they have made, which they have made every living and breathing inhabitant a subject was defined in law as a vessel engaged in commerce. All right. You are a vessel engaged. And what does a vessel do? A vessel carries something, right? A vessel is made to carry something. And just like a ship, uh, that ship is made to carry certain things. Okay. And most times the things that's on that ship is something that's commercially related. Okay. So our bodies became vessels. And what happens sometimes when, what happens when, um, what, what, what happens to what is put on a vessel when it's moving through the water insurance and you, you don't think that vessel is insured for all the, that commercial stuff on this. So if it's lost at sea or is dead at sea, somebody's not collecting this insurance. This somebody has an insurance policy out on us, right? Because we, we are, we are under the maritime jurisdiction with, which is the, the laws at sea and we're lost at sea, right? So when we die, somebody is collected. Oh my gosh, this is crazy, right? So in 1912, when the bank owned bonds that were keeping the U S government afloat became due, the bankers refused to refinance the debt. As a result, the colorable martial law rule Congress was compelled to pass the federal reserve act of 1913. This act surrendered constitutionally, uh, uh, constitutional authority to create control, manage the entire money supply of the United States to a handful of private, mostly foreign bankers. All right. 
So this place exclusive creation and control of the money within a private commercial foreign and military jurisdiction 1861 into corporate limit liability, right? And when you have an LLC, a limited liability company, right? If somebody wants to sue you, they sue the company, not you. Okay. So see how this, see how all this works. American converted from United States notes to Federal Reserve notes beginning in the passage of the Federal Reserve Act of 1913. Federal, Federal Reserve banks were incorporated in 1914 and in 1960 began to circulate their private corporate Federal Reserve notes as money alongside the nation's de jure currency, the United States notes, whereas United States notes were actually warehouse receipts for deposits of gold and silver in a warehouse bank thus representing wealth, substance, portable land, the money of the sovereigns. All right, the money of the sovereigns. I, man, man, my, I don't know how much I'm missing my, my thing with bank. Okay, so the uh, the gold is the money of the sovereigns. Who's the sovereigns? We, we are the people, the natural human. Okay, and then it says the new flat money, the reserve notes, amounted to the bills for that which was yet to be paid for what was owed, for the new benefit of being able to carry around U.S. government debt instruments. Cause that's what this is. This is a U.S. This is a debt instrument. It says Federal Reserve notes, a promise to pay. This is a debt instrument. All right. In our wallets, instead of gold certificates or silver certificates, we agreed to redeem, redeem the newly issued Federal Reserve notes in gold and also pay interest for their use in gold only. Essentially, the Federal issue paper with pretty green ink on it. We agreed to give them gold in exchange for privilege of using it. Such was the bargain. So we gave the gold up to use these dumb pieces of paper. Okay. <laughs> um, through paying interest to the Federal Reserve Corporation of Gold, the U.S. Treasury became progressively depleted of its gold. America's gold certificates, gold, coin, and bullion were continually shipped off to the coffers of various European banks and power elites. Remember the international bankers. You know, this is why England has all that gold now, somewhere down in the basement, in the, in the vaults, all the gold. Okay. In 1933, when treasury was drained and the debt was larger than ever, a financial condition known as insolvency, President Roosevelt proclaimed the bankruptcy of the United States. Every 14th Amendment citizen, right, of the United States was pledged as an asset to finance the Chapter 11 reorganization expenses and pay interest in perpetuity that means forever all right to the creditors the federal reserve bankers and the national debts which should not be questioned all right so that's how we got where we are today all right and the reason that you want to complete your ucc1 financial statement is because it then separates you from your all caps entity that was created for you in 1933 right the, the, the birth certificate the social security number all that kind of stuff make, make sure you do some research on that so you know what's going on all right so when you file your ucc1 financing statement you become the creditor the living human your straw man becomes the debtor that means that now they have to talk to the debtor and the debtor is what it's a dead entity so who who's paying who is paying who's responsible for all this debt and that's when it gets discharged off to the government uh, after HJ, uh, HJR 192, where all the debts became the debts of the United States, okay? So, or the government. So, make sure you get in this book. This book has a lot of information here, a lot of history. I just thought I would give you that so you can understand why individuals like myself, why individuals like the Jareds, why individuals like, um, you know, David Strait and Patrick Devine and all those individuals are out there sharing this information because we are looking to help get you free. Okay. We are looking to help get you free. And the best way to do that is to have the information. And if you don't at least know where to go and get it. Okay. So you can get this book. It's on Amazon. This is one of four. I think the next book talks about how to live in the trust. Another book talks about how to live completely private. And I can't remember right now what the fourth book talks about, but I am, I, I'm, I'm, I'm encouraging you to get involved in this process. All right. So there's some links down below in the description area. There's a, uh, there's a, uh, the first comment pinned to the top. It's going to have some great links. We have a great, great, great community 
and we are always adding people to that community, especially people who really know this information. I'm talking about even a lot better than I do, okay? And we are growing together. We are learning together. People are, are changing their status. Individuals are getting their SPC done. They're learning how to put people on notice. They're learning how to live in a trust. They're learning how to protect their assets. They're learning how to get out of foreclosure. They're learning how to um, uh, get out of tickets. Um, it's, 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 and it's growing by learning how to get their repos back, learning how to get their down payments back. It is, uh, it, it's just going crazy right now, all right? So I'm gonna encourage you to come and join us, all right? So the link is below in the description area. Also the first comment pinned to the top, okay? But today, I figured I'd share some smooth information with you. So I got my smooth shades on for you today. So go get the information. Listen, I know it's a lot. All, all four of the books, this is one of four, are thick like this. It's thick like that for a reason because it's only going to work for those who are willing to go and learn. All right? I'm learning every day. I'm, I'm discovering new things every day. And as I discover it, I'm, I'm, I'm breaking it down, maybe making a video about it, and then I'm putting it into, into that program so you have one place to come to get all the information that you need. Um, I've, I've had the privilege of having of being able to connect with a lot of great individuals who are sharing with me because they have their audience. I have my audience and, you know, uh, and then, you know, we're working together. All right. We are working together on this process. So coach MT, um, make sure you click the links in, below in the, in the description. There. If you want to reach me, you can email me. You can um, also contact us through our cus our customer support area. We have a great team that's growing. So we're just here to help. We're here to help you out. We want to make sure that you understand this information. We want to let you know what's available and we're going to keep providing the value. All right. So coach MT, see you on next. Hey, how you doing? This is coach MT. I want to thank you for watching this video. Make sure you click right here to subscribe to this channel. So you don't miss anything. Click right here on this link to get your process started. We have some more great free value over here for you. Again, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next video.